Ya, publik Amerika Serikat kini menyoroti kedekatan istimewa antara presiden terpilih Amerika Serikat Donald Trump dengan bos Tesla Elon Musk. Saking dekatnya, Musk yang telah ditunjuk untuk memimpin Departemen Efisiensi Amerika Serikat saat ini dilabeli sebagai first buddy atau sahabat paling dekat Trump. Lantas bagaimanakah pengaruh Musk dalam masa transisi pemerintahan Biden ke Trump? Berikut informasinya untuk Anda. Take over, Elon. Yes, take over. Elon Musk, the billionaire new best friend of Donald Trump, has been such a constant presence with the president-elect in recent days that Trump joked about it at Mar-a-Lago. I can't get him out of here. He just likes this place. When Musk flew to Washington with Trump this week on Trump's private plane and attended a meeting with House Republicans, Trump joked, I can't get rid of him. He also has more proximity to president-elect Trump right now than uh, Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance. Musk, who's been tapped by Trump to co-lead a new Department of Government efficiency, has, according to sources who spoke to CNN's Caitlin Collins, been omnipresent with Trump at Mar-a-Lago since the election, exerting enormous influence over the president-elect, dining with Trump, hanging out at the golf course with the Trump family. When the Trumps were posing for family photos like this one the day after the election, the president-elect encouraged Musk and his young son, X, to be included. Oh, So you have to get Elon with his boy. Okay. Absolutely. Trump's granddaughter, Kai Trump, posting a photo with the caption, Elon achieving uncle status. Maybe one thing that attracts uh, uh, Elon Musk to Donald Trump and Donald Trump to Elon Musk is that they're kind of the same person. They like being the, the one person in the room. They like walking into a room and sucking all the oxygen out of it. So Following this comment from CNN that. analyst Gloria Borger. I, I think Musk is becoming like first buddy. Musk posted, quote, I'm happy to be the first buddy. Musk has sat in on Trump's post-election phone calls with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and other leaders, posted this photo from Mar-a-Lago after meeting with Argentina's president there. And according to the New York Times, Musk met with Iran's ambassador to the UN. He's also weighed in on staffing decisions. But is Musk overextending with Trump's inner circle? The New York Times reports that one recent evening, Musk walked into the dining room at Mar-a-Lago about 30 minutes after Trump did and received a similar standing ovation to the president-elect. There is some conventional wisdom if you followed the first Trump presidency, which is that if you begin to overshadow the principle, it usually ends quite badly. Then there's the matter of the enormous power Musk could have with his new portfolio. Musk's companies face multiple federal investigations, some of them by agencies whose budgets he might be able to cut. He's now positioning himself to have potential oversight of the agencies that are investigating him. That would be an unprecedented level of uh, conflict of interest. 